in Staffordshire. Are you sure that's where you want to go? Is that in, are you in Cannock, Keith? Not far away, yeah. Nice one. Cannock's in the middle of Staffordshire. Of course he's not going to be far away. Yeah. yeah I suppose so. Anyway, Keith, you're on the air. What can we do for you? I suppose if you put it like that, yeah. Well, thank you. My point, my point is, James, that he just had that nice Irish man on who, and you were suggesting that religious people shouldn't be inflammatory. But then yesterday you were calling for unvaccinated people to... Have you come on just to have a moan at me, Keith? Have you got anything have, yeah, sensible yeah. No, no, to say? No, I've, got, I've called to have a moan at you, yeah. Yeah. Tell me about yourself, Keith. What do you do? Tell, no, no, listen, before before I let you do that, tell me a bit about you so I know a bit about you. How old are you? Well, I'm a 37, James. 37, uh, you sound about 60. OK. Uh, what okay. do you do for a living? Well, what I did during the pandemic, James, was I was uh, in isolation for a month doing COVID testing. Right. And, and what did you do uh, before that? Or are you just going to come on here and moan about how badly you've been treated? No, I'm not saying I've been treated badly. I'm, I'm saying I work for the army uh, in a month of isolation. Doing and COVID. what do you do for the army? Would you? Because you're not a soldier, obviously. What do you do for the army? Well, yeah, I'm an infantry reservist, James. I see. You're in the reserve. Right. Yeah. And how long have you been in the reserve? About five years, James. Mm -hmm. And have you ever been deployed? No, I've not, James, no. OK. Uh, and what rank are you? Uh, well, to be honest, James, I don't really want to get into that too to much. To be honest, you're you talking a load of rubbish, aren't you? But OK, it's fine. I'm, I'm not um, so the point, is the point of your call... I should lose my job because, of, because I've decided not to have a, a vaccine? Yeah. I don't think you should leave it. I think you should be kicked yeah. out. If your job says we want you to be vaccinated and you say, I'm not being vaccinated, then quite frankly, I think you should be removed. Yeah. But James, the British forces aren't requiring vaccination. So, so why should I not be fired yet? That lovely. They jolly well are. I don't know. I don't know what. Yesterday. Well, you're not in the proper forces if you know, but I have a my grandson, I can assure you, is and uh, they oh, are well, being well, vaccinated. I've been deployed. And, and, and yeah, I can assure you they are being Would vaccinated. I, uh, I assure you they are being vaccinated. So you, like a lot of people, come on and talk it's rubbish. It's not a legal requirement, James. And yet you're saying I should... I'm telling you that the, the members of the armed forces are getting vaccinated. Well, well, I'm telling Maybe you, the I'm reservists are not. Well, I don't know. Maybe the reservists are not. To help out to, to try and bring an end to the restrictions in the pandemic. And I'm sure I've done a lot more than you, James, in, in trying to bring that about. Yet you've got this opinion that people should lose their You're a miserable old, lively, aren't you? What have you well, done then to help sort this out? Do tell me. Well, I spent a, a month in a hotel unable to see my friends or family in isolation yeah. whilst testing people during the pandemic, James. I thought I've right. already mentioned that. Yeah, well, you know, you chose to do that. Don't come on here looking for some kind of uh, gratitude. I think you will. You asked me what I did, James, and that's what I responded to hmm. your question, which you asked, asked me what I did. Yeah. And, so, uh, and so you were asking... James, it's a lot less than a lot of other people that have been deployed, but it's hmm. probably a lot more than you, James. Of course you are. Of course you are. And you feel good about it, fine. Feel good about what? I don't know. I don't know. You're talking nonsense. I'm going to leave you on. I'm not going to cut you off just so you can continue making a fool of yourself. You carry on. You can be as right. rude as you want to me. I'm I don't care, you, really. I'm very respectful with you. I'm just having a, I have a very strong difference of opinion with you, James. And I think you're an absolute hypocrite. And it was absolutely vile, the interview I had with that lady yesterday. Well, do you know what I suggest you do? Yeah. I suggest you go away... Find something else to do with your time rather than consider... Me. You must have spent all day seething about me, which I'm very... I'm flattered that I you've been thinking about us all day. No, I'm very I'm flattered thinking. about that. But no, I don't I think we really want you anymore. This is the first time I've listened to your show, James, and it's out of absolute... I think, you're, I think I'll find, Keith, that you phoned before, actually. Um, no, that's not, not true. Check, check again, James. I, I phoned about half an hour ago. Well, there you go. I yeah, think, that's, I what, think, that's what he yeah, meant. Yeah. T exactly. He phoned half an hour ago, I oh, told you. Man. Yeah, well, so but, I haven't been listening to you all day then. So you're talking rubbish again. Mm. Well, I think, I think you know, I, can't, I, find you, I find people like you really 
really sort of draining because you just talk rubbish the whole you. time. I, I, I find you, I find you absolutely vile. You were talking about someone talking with vitriol. Mm. Well, in you that case, could you do me a favour? NHS and save people's Could lives, you do? Could you do me a favour? Yeah, I should be sacked. You, what for? No, that's not. What, what should I be sacked for? I what should I be sacked for? Well, I do believe you should be sacked, actually, James. That's not what I yeah. said. What I for? Believe you should be it's got sacked. nothing to do because with you, I whether I'm sacked or not. What do you should, want to sack me for? Radio should be the home of, of open discussion. And yeah, you well, you're on, aren't where, you? So obviously it is. For, yeah. for someone to be sacked just because yeah. they've taken a, a decision over bodily autonomy about whether to take one specific vaccine. You're an idiot. A complete and utter idiot. Do me a fool. Do me a do me a do me a favour for In the military, they do make you take stuff, don't they? When you go out deployed, they'll make you take. Yeah, you have to take yeah. stuff. Do me listen. Do I don't know about the favor. vaccine now. I don't know what Ash, the rules. I want rid now. I've I've had enough of this cretinous. I've had enough of you. Okay, I don't need you as a listener or a viewer. I do not want to hear from you again. Please, but go thank, thanks for your help, away. Keith. With all yeah, you've been very helpful. No, now, could you go away with and testing. not cause yourself so much distress by thinking about me? But thanks for your help in the forces and with the testing. It's, a, it's the first time I've ever, ever listened to you. And I yeah, you keep you saying that, but you probably spent the whole day well. seething. I haven't so why... About an hour ago, James. Why so distress you yourself? seething about an hour, James. Ah, oh, right. You didn't hear the programme last night. You just no, saw the exactly, clip. Yeah, so and then you yeah. started okay. seething. If you, then listen, yeah. if you listen to people, James, then you get a better understanding of what they're trying to say to you. Do you think we haven't listened to you? Do you think I don't know well, what you, you're you droning on about? I've said about five times now, I've, I saw the video about an hour ago, but yet you, you've told me that I've been seething all day. I've been seething for about 30 minutes, James. What about the half an hour before <laughs> well, that? Well, 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 I find that difficult I find that difficult to believe. But listen, um, if you... No, but you said you watched you it an hour ago, but you've only yeah, been yeah, seething yeah, for yeah, half an hour. Yeah. Look, Why it doesn't all really right matter. Half an hour and then no, you, Ash, he's talking rubbish anyway. Look, yeah. I, I don't wish you any ill. But I really don't think you should you okay. should address me anymore. I think you should find yourself something nice to do, and cheer yourself up a little bit. Okay? Yeah, gladly, James, and it, and it won't involve. I mean, I wouldn't spend too much time. You're a be, you, you can call me anything you like. I really don't care. But yeah, it's true. I, I I really think that that actually putting yourself through this, getting onto the program, coming in to have a go at me, yeah. is really probably not doing your blood pressure very much good at all. Oh, my blood pressure is fine. It's, it's lower, if anything, James. But uh, I just wanted to, to make make clear the, the view that a lot of people share, which is you're a hypocritical idiot. Um, well, if a lot of people do that, that's that they don't, they shouldn't be listening, should they? Why would you watch well, me on the TV or listen to me if that I, I is your view? I don't do either of those things. I don't do either of those things. I've literally called you for the first time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.